Good morning, Israel. Good morning, believers. Word of Truth with J.D. Nyjah. <clears throat> Coffee with J.D. Nyjah. On location at an undisclosed reef break. Back with the message of edification video for the believers. <clears throat> Pretty interesting how very few people are <clears throat> interested in, in prophecy in the Bible. <clears throat> um, before I get started, I'm going to say a prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Most High, we come before you humbly and in a contrite and humble spirit to say thank you for giving us the knowledge of what is to come through your word and your son, Yahawashai. I pray that this message will reach the ears that need to hear it. And if not, <clears throat> that was because of your will. <clears throat> Bring these things into remembrance that we need to know <clears throat> so we can walk in your ways and do your will. Amen. <clears throat> so, um, yesterday... <clears throat> so lucky, brothers. Uh, slept in the sleeping bag last night. Um, I did a message on the um, how much things are going to start costing. See, what people don't understand is this whole war thing. Oh, so lucky. This war, this invasion of Ukraine is designed to do more than just <clears throat> um, <clears throat> give Putin more land or give him access to wheat or oil or whatever it is. Ukraine is definitely oil rich <clears throat> but even Beyond that, <coughs> ah, Salakia brothers. Um, between Russia and Ukraine, that's twenty-five to thirty percent of the world's wheat output. So when I was saying yesterday, and when the Bible was is saying in Revelation. Uh, <clears throat> a bushel of wheat for a day's pay that's that's a warning that's a warning that the price of things what what they're doing is they're <clears throat> trying to set up this new economy where everyone's gonna have to take that implantable RFID micro, <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> Salakia, uh, and <clears throat> of course, no one wants to believe this, and of course, they're shadow batting my videos, and people just don't really care. I don't think they don't. They <clears throat> when it happens, when it falls on their head, then then they're going to care, and they're going to be screaming and crying, and they're. They're going to overreact because they don't have the Holy Spirit. And this message is just another in a long line of messages saying, um, knock off your carnal, worldly, fleshly thought processes. <clears throat> and 
<clears throat> figure out what it means to be spiritual. <clears throat> because what it means to be spiritual is to know that your consciousness is in this body, but your consciousness is not your body. The Bible says that we were put into these chains of darkness. And these chains of darkness means we don't see all the spectrum of light. We don't see all the dimensions. The chains of darkness is this dark, limited <clears throat> human body we have. It's very limited. A lot of a lot of folks think that they're they're Superman. And I I think maybe that's why Hollywood pushes that superhero thing because they try and make it think you think that these bodies can become um, <clears throat> flying machines and and. Um, bomb creators and and fire makers and not so much on this side it 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 might happen the lord might give his men spiritual powers but it's not going to look like it's not going to look like i, I don't think it's going to look like anything out of this world it's he's just going to make things happen for the men of the lord that are going to be um, s believable in this in this world, but um, for people that know miracles, they'll know that it it wasn't of this world. If you can understand that, so uh, the whole everything's leading towards prophecy, and prophecy is the end of Esau Edom's kingdom. He's had his chance to rule. He's punished. He, the Lord's used these Edomites, these um, leprous people, these people with no pigmentation, these these dukes of Edom, um, the sons, the sons of Esau, the one that the Lord hated. And for all you Christians out there who think that. The Lord doesn't hate. You need to get into your Bible because it tells you that Jacob I loved and Esau I hated. And he used, he gave Esau his little blessing, his blessing of the sword and the blessing of deceit after the, the workings of his father, the devil, Satan spiritual demon Satan he gave them that power to punish Israel for going off but if you don't if you haven't picked that up on my videos yet and you haven't read the Bible then you probably aren't going to get it anyway he's probably deafened your ears closed your eyes you want this wicked kingdom to go on forever you want to get chipped you want to you want to go into a virtual world. You want to live forever as a slave to some demonic presence. That's who you are. And that's why you have to be destroyed. So if you're a true believer, you want to get the heck out of here. I mean, this is okay where I'm at right now. It's beautiful. There's an ocean. There's a sky. There's land here that's not completely ruined yet. But the bigger question is, why do we have people going into other people's houses and killing them and going into their territories and blowing them up with missiles? And Because it's a wicked kingdom. So I'm, I, I'm not going to go on all day with that. I, there's, no, there's no convincing people that aren't going to get it. 
And I've no, I know that now, and that's why it's so lonely. But fuck it, I could. I, it's it's not. It's only my job to warn you. There's nothing I can do for you. You have to figure it out yourself. And um, they're they're Esau Edom doesn't want you to know. Do you think? Do you think the world's going? Yeah, we better listen to J.D. Niger, man. He's telling us the truth. Yeah, let's repent. Let's do something different. Maybe we should maybe we should do it the Israelite way, the Eastern way, the old ancient ways. Maybe we maybe we can get the Lord to uh, re- forgive us. No, no one no. This this plan is set in action and it will happen. Um Verse 29 of Matthew 24, immediately after the tribulation of those days. When it talks about the tribulation of those days, it's talking about all this um, famine and war and great signs and wonders in the sky. And let's see. um, For if there shall arise false prophets, there will arise false prophets. And shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. Um, these signs and wonders uh, that the, that Matthew's talking about are, you know, that um, they were talking about it on the radio. It's amazing. They were actually talking about the um, direct energy weapons. Um, one of the one of the guys from uh, Ukraine, they were talking to him on the radio and he was talking frankly about some things. And then he said, I don't know how to say it in English, but they're, they're making the fire come from the sky and burning things up. And, um, we, we know that they have this technology and they know we have that technology. And, um, it's been used, it's been used here in California um, a few times uh, to decimate some neighborhoods and to test their um, test what they're doing. And, and I kind of knew that I, I was looking at some pictures that they had in the paper and it, it showed the same type of burned out vehicles that we saw, saw in um, Northern California. And I went, wow, that looks like, that looks like do. So if you hear me say do that's D E W. That means direct energy. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to start seeing um, some ama- amazing um, things come out of the sky. And some of this technology they have is going to be, they're going to start unleashing, unleashing this technology because the days are short. And there's no use... Um, keeping it a secret anymore because there's nothing there's not really anything left to um to do they're they're gonna try and sneak this stuff in on us by starving us out um mostly by yeah lack of food is gonna be the big big one that's gonna make people um bow down to this devil um satan wants you to worship him not not the most high but um um immediately after the, those tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light so like i said before the moon and the sun and the earth the earth is a closed system and the sun and the moon are just lights that's why it says the moon shall be the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken the stars are those luminaries the stars are angels that are watching if you can receive that in the spirit and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory that's Yahushai coming with the chariots. The clouds of heaven 
are those chariots. They don't. They didn't know how to say. <laughs> they didn't know how to explain what a um, what a UFO was. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet. There they come in those flying machines. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Um, so heaven has an end. And he what he means by that is the heavens is the air space um, on this flat earth. And the four corners are the, the ends of the earth. That's why it says from one end of heaven to the other. Give up on that spinning wet ball rocket thing or you're going to get destroyed. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. So what we're seeing is that tender branch. We're starting to see it budding now um, with this uh, uh, C-19 and uh, um, jump shot and wars and rumors of wars we can see it so likewise you when you shall see all these things know that it is near even at the doors i've been trying to tell people that but either they're shadow banning me or people are going this guy's fucking crazy <laughs> whatever I'm, I'm i'm over um i'm over trying to um baby people or or convince you or all I've got to do is just tell you the truth on this video on the next video on the following video until you go fuck that fucker was right and then it, by then you, you don't get it the doors are closing you got to get in the door before this shit starts you got to believe before you see it that's the beauty of belief <laughs> that's what faith is you got to believe the word so that you can make the move it's 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 like someone telling you buy stock in some company um it's gonna go up and you're like uh ah, put all your money into it dude you're, it's gonna be a winner uh and then you don't do it and then what happens just like the guy said if you can believe him if you have faith that fucking thing shoots up and if you would have put the money in you would have won but as it comes out loser <laughs> heaven um, verily I say unto you this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled so I'm not going to go into that because it's if you don't believe in reincarnation if you don't understand that you are the same people that were back in the day then you're bugged out and you don't understand the Bible um so he's going to save his elect. He's, he's coming here to get his people. Ooh, there's a good one. Oh, not very many ways, but there's a few good ones. So I'm not going to go on and on. I'm just, I, he told me, just follow up on the, um, on the cost of wheat. It's funny that the, I did the video and, and Bill Handel this morning on his, on his show, he said the same. He, they're ta they're they're starting to talk prophecy in the news, which is um, they probably always have, but it was so it seemed so far off and it didn't fit the story. Every every word is starting to convey the part of the story we're in and we're in the part of the story that um, is saying there's not much time left the doors are closing um, open the doors and let the saints in so um, yeah let me see if I got something else 19 minutes probably good enough sit here and read the paper wait for the tide to drop drink some more coffee um all I can all I can say 
is this is love. This is what love looks like. And uh, it should be obvious if you're if if you're here. It should be obvious to you that um, this world can't continue in its in its way the way it is. And we can't we can't be having all the shit that's going on here going on here. It's it's. If you like the way this place is, then you're wicked. I mean, yeah, um, I've I've been wicked. I've done a lot of wicked stuff. Not so much against people, but just just a, a defiled mindset, you know. Just defiled, uh, a a perversion, which is um. Going against the ways of the Most High, a, per, a perverted, a perverted way is a way that's um, antichrist. Look at that one. Anyhow, um, but the larger perversion and the larger hurt that we're seeing here is that people are have always tried to control each other and take from each other and no one's give giving anything. And, and if you try and give anything that's good, um, people don't want it. It's the obvious, the obvious, most obvious example of that is the way women will, they want the douchebag dude. They don't, they don't want a godly man. Most women are, are bugged out. They want, they want the guy that's um, coming up by stealing. Um, they want the guy that's that's rough and and rude to them, and and they can't control. They want to try and control them, so um, they want someone that's that they they can't control. And as that goes, he doesn't care about her, and she's chasing something that she does, she shouldn't even want. But anyhow, I'm not gonna go off too much on the obvious signs that this place is through. If you can't see it, oh well. All right, well, I don't know how to I don't know how to smooch your butts and 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 um and powder your your um diaper and all that, but that's the best I can do. This is the best I can do. I'm I'm trying to raise you up, but um, if your other daddy isn't doing his job, if your other daddy keeps feeding you the wrong food and not changing your diaper, you're, you're going to get diaper rash, and, and it's coming. I, I, I can only do so much. You, you've got to um, step away from that wicked daddy of yours and who doesn't change your diaper and feed you the wrong stuff. Otherwise you're just going to keep shitting yourself. But, um, I can only do so much. So there's that. This is your brother, JD Niger. I pray that this message was edifying. Um, give you a quick look down the beach here. Beautiful. I think I'll take a walk up and, um, Surf churches up there. It's your brother JD Nija. From the beach in beautiful San Onofre. I'm out. <laughs>